Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Candice303. I'm Candice Diaz and I have a lot to share with you today about gestational diabetes. Letting you know everything you need to know about it, how to cope with it, what to change in your diet, what it really is because some doctors aren't good at explaining. As you can see, I'm pretty big. <laughs> I am 38 weeks and I have gotten a little practice down. So let's get into this video. Okay, so first things, what is gestational diabetes? It is where you develop diabetes when you're pregnant. It goes away after, but, whoa, wow, 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 wow. All my insulin is being given to this baby and I'm producing too much, my blood sugar is just going crazy. So the dangers of being diabetic while pregnant is your baby can get really, really big and also develop um, high blood sugar when she's bo they're born or diabetes and it can just be bad. It's really important for you to control it and although it's hard because you feel completely fine, there's no symptoms other than for me that I am extremely thirsty all the time and always craving sweets. So, which is the hard part because you can't have any sweets. The doctor will prescribe you your own glucometer and everything you need for that. It comes with the finger pricks, thing to prick your finger, alcohol swabs, and the glucometer itself. And you have to check your blood four times a day. So right when you wake up, you check your fasting blood, then an hour after you eat breakfast, an hour after you eat lunch, and an hour after you eat dinner. And the range you're looking for is um, no higher than 140. If your blood is higher than 140, you've got a problem and you need to talk to the doctor and or you need to fix what you're eating. How you use the glucometer is you just load, in, load it up, click it back, put one of the papers in the glucometer, prick your finger, check the blood and it's so simple and easy although it's a little scary and your fingers may start hurting after a little bit but it's n nothing too bad it's just hard to remember so always always um put a timer on your phone and your doctor will want you to write out everything what you ate when you ate how much your blood was and any snacks you had that day it's interesting because a lot of people say what to avoid eating and what you can eat, but some of those things still affected my blood sugar. So everybody's different. So now you're probably wondering like, what can I eat? Because you can't have any of the whites. So avoid sugar, avoid flour, rice, potatoes. I think those are the main ones. Here are some examples of what I eat. For breakfast, I really like two eggs and a piece of toast because I find that if I eat anything sugary, it will spike my blood. For lunch, I eat just a plain sandwich with wheat bread. Snacks, I usually like to stick with mixed nuts, string cheese, or an apple with peanut butter. I find that an apple doesn't spike my blood up too much and I love fruit so it's the best thing I can do. Dinner I like to have this black bean soup. It's really good in protein and it helps your blood sugar to stay low again. And as always don't forget to drink lots and lots and lots of water. I wish you guys all the best and if you have any questions or want to talk and share stories or recipes with me. I would love to hear anything you have to say. I am due in two weeks. It's insane. Thanks for watching everyone. Please subscribe to my channel if you're interested in more videos about 
lifestyle, becoming a mom, crafts and food. And thank you so much for watching everyone.